Hello, welcome to Aeroship channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the problem of uh, uh, stress concentration factor calculation for a plate uh, with a hole subjected to tensile loading. Uh, the problem details are uh, show as shown in the figure here. So I'm going to show you all the steps in uh, modeling, analyzing, and uh, looking at the stresses. So let's get started. Launching the geometry module, creating the plate, creating a hole in the middle, performing cut operation. For getting a good uh, quad mesh, what I am going to do is I am going to create uh, uh, segments of this uh, profile so that uh, when I mesh it using an automatic quadrangular mapping mesh option, uh, it will give me a good mesh. So I am going to create few points. created those points now I'm going to join them by lines Now I'm going to create uh, a partition. So let me select all the geometries first, all lines. It, um, yeah, we'll leave the name as it is partition one. Then apply and close. So that's the shape I have created, which is what I'm going to mesh it now. Uh, so let's go to the mesh module now. Create a mesh. 
using the quad mesh because all the shapes are uh, correctly represented so the mapping option is automatically uh, available here so i'm going to just choose the automatic option 15 elements uh, close and then compute as you can see the mesh has resulted in uh, good mesh as you can see here and also it has given few edges so i don't want these edge elements so i'm going to delete all those edges elements now so deleting the elements now removing minimum edges and selecting the five it has selected all the edge elements now and close so if i click on see the mesh information i can see that uh, only quad elements are only 2D face elements are there now. Okay. I'm going to create uh, three groups now. So a group for uh, fixing the boundary condition for the fixed boundary condition, and then a group for applying the load. So let me create a group. So first, I need to create a group for all the elements as well. So I'm going to do that. So I call it. one node for uh, um, okay. I'm going to create another group called uh, for all the nodes because I want to apply the load to all these nodes rather than to one node. Okay. Uh, with that the mesh uh, module is now complete so we will move on to the code aster to perform the analysis. Uh, for quickness, I'm going to add a stage by importing a file. So I'm going to add stage from file, and I have a template here. So I'm going to use the template to build the file. I'll show you how it looks like. Show you. So you can have a. So the the com file is this. So it has the all the commands already used for the previous analysis. So I'm reusing that. I'll go through all the steps now. So the first option is obviously you don't need that. You don't that. Read the bench. Send the DKT elements for uh, the elements, all the elements. So let me select the group correctly. So rather than applying to everywhere, I think so you can select the group. Only the group of elements, which is that to the all elements that we have created earlier. Then this element uh, is assigning the material property, which is five millimeter thickness to all the elements. That's defining the aluminium material. That's assigning that material to all the element, all elements group. Then this is boundary condition. So as you can see here, this is where the three groups of uh, nodes that we have created earlier is used. So this is enforced boundary condition, which is used to uh, fix all the degrees of freedom for the nodes uh, within the group called uh, fixed.
is double check in the group of nodes here. Yeah, fix nodes 31. So that's what I want to fix. I'll go back to the node code again. The other commands that I have used is uh, nodal ports of 3000. So nodal ports of uh, 3000 there on the group uh, of nodes called uh, load where there is only one node. So just double check on that. There is just one node there. Then the other uh, command I have used is alias and uh, unit. So which is what, what it does is uh, it imposes the uniform displacement. For all the nodes that are within that group so for all the 31 nodes i'm imposing a constant uh, uh, degree of freedom in the loading direction so that's what i have defined in the loads and uh, linear analysis back to the linear analysis option calc sum defined uh, the stress required stress that are going to expire uh, expecting and post sham defining the middle layer for the shell element and I'm going to select the output file Save the analysis and now we are going to here on so save the analysis, go to the history view and submit a run. Uh, we have a successful run as you can see here. Uh, so let's go back to let's go to the paravis and uh, look at the results. Opening the results uh, file. Results are visible here. So first I'm going to plot the displacement. Selecting the generate vector option. I plot a default shape. So for that vector and then select the scale factor click apply uh, for the undeformed shape let us select the outline view so that's the outline view of the CC let's increase the scale and see what how it looks like Okay, now let's look at the stresses at the edge of the hole. So let me select the global stress at the nodes. And uh, we need to use the filter option. So filter mechanics L node to surface. Click apply. You can see the stresses here. So the maximum stress is uh, something like close to 320. So let's look at the actual value by doing an interpolate or uh, in some nature of that one. Yeah. So the option to do is using the selection display inspector here. So this is already enabled. So if, if it is not visible, you can go to go window and choose the selection display inspector so I'm going to select the stress option there and also the stress if I enable on overall I should be able to see the stresses now so there you go 315.8 is the 
twist as per I show here and uh, that matches exactly with what we had uh, calculated using analytical twist. So uh, that completes this tutorial. Uh, I'm going to uh, upload the the com file or uh, the, uh, the input file. The input files for this one, the med file and the the uh, our com the com file in in the comments below. Thank you.